two minutes ago I just hit 20k on Instagram. If you aren't following me on Instagram, I'm assuming that's where most of are from. But if you aren't following me on Instagram, go over and follow me. It is lit. But yeah, that was a milestone of mine. Like when I got 10k, I knew that I wanted to hit 20k. It took me so long to hit 10k, but to hit 20k, it only took me like another two months, I think. So that's like 5k a month, and it's growing quicker every day. But yeah, good start to the vlog. Just pulled up to the gym there. <coughs> I'm gonna go in and kill a push workout. Was not planning on recording it due to the gym being packed. It's like half seven at night and it's a Monday, so it's prime time for the gym to be packed. Anyway, I'm gonna go in and kill this and I'll catch you in a bit. Just finished up there. It was a decent workout. That workout sort of gave me an idea of how the workouts are gonna feel on the cut. It reminded me how the workouts feel when you're on a cut. I remember the last time I was cutting when I was deep into cut. The workouts, I literally dreaded every single workout. The pumps were shit, contractions were shit, form didn't feel right, I was getting injured every single week. But um, overall, it was a decent session, I got a good pump. I definitely hit hypertrophy, just have to hit the macros for the rest of the day now. It's only five days left till I'm on the cut, lads, so... I want to make the most of these last few days, I want to get in stuff that I usually crave. When I am in a deficit for a long time. But yeah, I haven't done a sunbed in a while. I've been walking, I've been flat out walking, I haven't got had me out in the sun whatsoever every single day that I was sunny over here, I was inside walking. So I'm gonna shoot off now and do a quick sunbed. <laughs> okay. Just turned two o'clock. I've been in work all week at mad early hours, so plus the workout yesterday was shit. I blame that on being in work at five that morning. Sleep was shit, so I just took a hit today. I'm gonna start today late, but I just needed to lie in. Finished training about 15 minutes ago. I was in a hurry, so I didn't bring the camera. But I'm heading off now to get a haircut. I'm in desperate need. I haven't got one since after the holiday. I got one haircut. Been about two and a half, three weeks. You can see the head on me. But yeah, it's about seven o'clock, seven p.m. I've knocked out most of the macros. That pizza I had wasn't for breakfast, in case any of you thought it was. I just didn't show the breakfast. But yeah, I'm gonna jump now and get a haircut. All tidied up. Now it's time to go home and shower because I came straight from the gym and get some food. I'm starving. <laughs> up to a package come to the door from a company that was on to me about sponsorship I said I try out one of their products I'm gonna try it out today when I walk out it's pre-workout the company is called Morph Nutrition they sent me one of their apple or one of their um, green apple pre-workouts try to find the caffeine bay here we go here's the ingredients I want to see how much caffeine there is per serving actually I don't think it says it 250 mg of caffeine so roughly about the same as a C4 scoop that's usually the pre-workout I take so I'm gonna try this today. They did send me two t-shirts. The Morph Nutrition on the front and MN on the back. They're a tight fit. These are a medium and they fit nice and snug. They're tapered around the waist, which is what I like. I hate t-shirts that are baggy around the waist because I have wide shoulders and a really small waist. But yeah, I'm gonna get a bit of food now. Try that pre-workout and we're going to hit, I think. Trying the chest anyway, because well, I trained triceps yesterday, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with triceps, but it's definitely gonna be a chest session. Probably throw some side delts in it. And uh, whatever else I feel like doing, so it's gonna be a walk already.
Do you used to have Twix uh, McFlurries? Not anymore. We have um, Oreo Dairy Milk or we have Galaxy ones caramel. Galaxy. Galaxy. And I get a Galaxy McFlurry and a Oreo McFlurry. Yeah, is it Galaxy caramel or chocolate? Chocolate. Chocolate. 460 next to thank you. Cheers. 460. Lads, I'm cutting in like four days, so that's a lie. I am. <laughs> I'm cutting in four days, so I want to knock out everything that I usually crave. It's just a mental it's just a mental thing because I know when I go into the diet, I'm gonna it's gonna be a strict ten weeks because I only have ten weeks, so it's not like the last time I think I was in a deficit for sixteen weeks. But I'm really gonna nail down for these ten weeks, I'm not gonna be off diet and you know we are you know yourself at the start of a diet is the hardest to actually start it. You end up finding yourself off the diet after like day five, then you jump back on it. After like two or three weeks you notice you're actually stuck to it. But I'm gonna try to be stuck to it from day one. That's where I probably say me eating a lot of shit lately. What are you doing? Oh, you dear. <laughs> Where are you at, Just came home from the gym. This is going to be the outro of the video. But I came home to another package and I want to show you who it's from. It's from Bulk Powders. They were on to me a few days ago about sending me out some products. And I said, go for it. I'll try them out. They sent me over some high protein cookies, chocolate orange flavor, and some bulk powder protein. I asked for the um, the chocolate orange as well. Here's the macros on it. It's decent. There is per serving, there's 2.5 grams of fat, 3 carbs, and 22.5 grams of protein. The cookies are even better. Ready on this, here we go. Macros on the cookie are 9.3 grams of fat, 22 carbs, and 27.8 and grams of protein. I'm going to end this here. I'm going to do a little taste test of the cookies and the protein shake in the next video. But I want to thank you for watching. That workout, it's probably going to take me an hour or two. But yeah, appreciate you watching and I'll catch you in the next one.